USS Gamer here, making a tier list of top pop trap rap artists. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Only about 1% of my viewers actually subscribe to the channel. So yes, all right, let's just get it started. So first, I'm just going to go through each artist I don't know or I've never listened to. Assuming this is ASAP Ferg and I'm not seeing things, we're putting ASAP Ferg A tier. And then I'll go in depth for like some of the S tier people. Assuming this is Big Sean. Detroit should have had so many more nominations, but it's a bunch of BS. It didn't. It had fire features. 21 Savage is really, I mean, he's much better on features than he is in normal music. We're putting 21 Savage B tier. Rod Wave, S tier, unarguable. Bad Bunny, top album of the year, but I don't understand what Bad Bunny's saying because I don't speak Spanish. We'll put him A tier because he does have some of the best beats in the game. All right. Cardi B, don't argue with me. Chance the Rapper, he stayed independent and he's made okay music so far. Holy was pretty good, but really you can't base a whole career off one song. But we're putting Chance the Rapper C tier. Childish Gambino, he can get really creative with his beats. You know, we're gonna put uh, Childish Gambino A tier. Designer's been carrying Jake Paul, and I know that for sure. He's definitely been ghostwriting on more songs for Jake Paul than he gets credit for. Even though he's talented as a lyricist, he just can't pull it off in songs. Panda is pretty much what carried his career. Timmy Turner is probably in second place. Drake, A tier. I'm sorry if he's not S tier, it's just some of his songs don't pop, like Rod Wave, Big Sean. Eminem, arguably the best lyricist in this tier list. His music doesn't really hit the same way it used to. The rap God is a little bit overhyped. Just, just a little, just a little, just a little. So we're going to put Eminem B tier, just because he's, I think he, overall he's better than Chance the Rapper, but I do think he's below the artists above. Berserk really went off for ASAP Ferg, so we'll keep him there. Uh, Future, Future's got banging music. I'm going to put Future S tier. That might, yeah, I'm going to put Future S tier. Um, g Easy, he can have lyrics, but he just sounds very cringy when he raps. We're putting g Easy F tier get destroyed uh gunna was on lemonade one of the definitely top chart songs but uh he still makes solid music i love the gunna running meme uh we'll put gunna b tier all right j cole definitely one of the better artists of our era all right then we have was jay-z make some old school bangers you can always listen to jay-z we highly recommend jay-z while you're working out even though i don't work out that much but when i used to jay-z is the wave okay and then we got juice world i'm about to offend and make a lot of people cry I'll put him in A tier, right? It's just a lot of sad boy songs, but I'll tell you, he had fire beats going on. He had bangers of music. He had great features. He did a great job. I mean, honestly, he carried most of Godzilla except for Eminem's super fast verse. Kanye, I'll put Kanye A tier. Uh, the Na 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 remix were pretty good. And then uh, Jesus is King was like the only <laughs> the only album certain teachers would play in their class, so it's just a memory. We'll keep it in there. Kendrick Lamar. I think Kendrick makes better music than Eminem. But I don't think Kevin uh, Kendrick Lamar is S tier, so we're gonna put him A tier. We're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. It's still A tier is still really good. C tier, in my opinion, is like okay. Like it's not bad to have them in your playlist. B is a good idea to have them in the playlist. A tier is you should definitely have them in your playlist. S tier is you you absolutely have to have them in your playlist. Jordan Lucas, I think he's better than Chance. I really don't see a true. I'll put Joyner Lucas B tier. Kodak Black got carried by a lot of his, by a lot of features. So C tier. Just, just, yeah, man. I just hate these artists that get carried by features. Like, let's say, for example, French Montana doesn't really deserve anything. I'm sorry. All right, we got Lil Baby. Lil Baby's definitely one of the better lyricists. I will put Lil Baby A tier. You can't go wrong with a lot of his songs, but ah, mate, nah, he definitely goes S tier. Definitely one of the better artists. Lil Pump, uh, Uzi, he's acceptable for features. Eternal, I don't even know. That was a flop. I'm sorry. Uzi C tier. Lil Wayne, Teddy, you guys are gonna trash talk this, but he's definitely just a legendary. If we had Lil Wayne in 2006, he'd definitely be S tier. I, I think this may be Lil Wayne's year, though, of comeback. He's definitely had some really great features this year, or last year as of 2020. All right, Lil Yachty. It sounds like he got, like, a cold all the time when he's singing. Like, I don't <laughs> or rapping. It's not, it's not banging. He has, he has bars. It's just the voice, the, the tone. It's just not there. We'll definitely put Logic C tier. I wouldn't get offended if you had Logic on your playlist. Migos, put Migos. Mm. Migos somewhere between B and A tier. Best group in the game. Uh, I think that's Nav. 
<laughs> I love the uh, the Lizzo the Lizzo memes the wave for his album cover. That was prime. I think some of his features are really great though, and some of his music's great. So I would highly recommend having a nav song in your playlist. Used to bang. Now he's okay. I wouldn't say he's amazing though. All right, Polo G. I feel there, there's a lot of repetition with Polo G. I'll be honest, but he definitely makes some of the best music. It was either 2018 or 20. When did he drop Goat? That was that was just a great album. Post Malone. <clears throat> Hollywood's Bleeding had amazing songs, but some songs stopped it from being an S tier album, such as Internet. That nah, that just didn't hit. You had. Uh, Take what you want from me. That was a banger. Uh, you had Hollywood's bleeding itself. That was a banger. It's Circles another banger. Like, you, you just can't go. You couldn't go wrong with putting Post Malone in your playlist. But he has had some stinkers. The internet was just a stinker. All right, uh, Quavo. I think yes. Quavo's amazing on features. Definitely a tier. I love the, I think, was it a Sprite Cranberry commercial? Or was it just a regular Sprite commercial? Where was the Migos riding around on those big wheel tricycles? That was, that was a prime commercial. Rich Brian, definitely, definitely improved. Uh, not bad to have on your playlist, though. Definitely put in Rich Brian beats here. Rick Ross, really good features. Uh, very smart guy. Uh, really cool weight loss story. Uh, if you watch the, the Gym and Fridge by Men's Health, highly recommend watching... Uh, it's just funny. It's just funny watching Rick Ross's men's gym and fridge. It's a, the best part is when he says, I am sex. All right, Ski Mask, A tier, excellent artist. But you just got to kind of get with the tone of Ski Mask and him going, oh. In between, you know, each line of the song. I haven't listened to much Snoop Dogg. I'm not, I can't really make a... Uh, no, uh, T Grizzly. Um, first day out, that was a banger and a half. But beyond that, I haven't gotten anything crazy from T Grizzly. But definitely, definitely not bad to have on your playlist. Six nine, I'm putting six nine. Oh, now before you say he's absolutely awful, okay, hold up. His beats are banging. He drops videos. If stats wise, he deserves to be above F tier. Like music quality wise, he, he F tier. But I'm putting him E tier just because of the stats. His stats surpass probably, probably not Cardi B, but he should surpass. Cardi B should not be as big as she is. I'll, I'll be honest. All right. The weekend. Do not argue. Travis Scott. Uh, can definitely make some bangers. Really fun car music. And the best part of Travis Scott was the Bass Band costume. We'll be, let's all be honest. That was a prime meme. But, uh, yeah, okay. So, Trippy Red. I would recommend having some Trippy Red songs in your playlist. But definitely, if I were to have a song, and I could choose like five features of one main artist, Tyga would definitely be on there. Uh, but I'm going to put Tyga 8 there. Tyler the Creator. Funny as shit watching those uh, YouTube videos of him being Tyler the Creator. Earthquake. Banger. And some of his older albums are really good, but I, I mean, I haven't seen anything recently from him, so we'll have to wait on that. Sway Lee and Wiz Khalifa are still amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of the Fast and Furious. Was it Fast and Furious 7 that had the Wiz Khalifa song? Commemorating Paul Walker. Can't remember what it is. Uh, but uh, either way, Sway Lee or Wiz Khalifa, I'm willing to put S. No, I'm willing to put them A tier. Either one. Yeah, you know, we're not going to put X in the tier list just to be safe. Corday, after he left YBN, it's a lot better now, I think. And uh, Gifted with Roddy Rich, that was a really good song. The music video is amazing. So we're going to put Corday A tier. Definitely would recommend to have him. Line of Melody. We'll put him, we'll put him, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit generous. <sighs> Murder on my mind definitely carried. Envy a young boy, I'm sorry. He's just not good. Like, just, just not good. Not good. <laughs> and then Young Gravy. It, it, some of his songs are funny, but at the end of the day, are you re really going to listen to a song that's funny over and over again? It's kind of like Jeezy. You're not going to listen to Jeezy over and over again. 
you're not gonna listen to six nine over and over again like you'll probably play him like once and you'll be like oh shit that's funny he's a meme so we'll put him on the same meme tier we'll, we'll do a wrap up we got big sean right away future jay-z little baby and the weekend on s tier got asap for bad bunny childish gambino drake j cole juice world kanye kendrick lil wayne uh migos nav polo g post malone quavo rick ross ski mask taiga Sway Lee or Wiz Khalifa, I can't tell by the picture, but both of them belong in A tier, and uh, Corday A tier. Next we have B tier, these are songs that you can have in your playlist without being absolutely roasted. We have 21 Savage, Eminem, Gunna, uh, Joyner Lucas, Rich Brian, uh, T Grizzly, Travis Scott, uh, Trippy Red, Tyler the Creator, and YNW Melly. Then we have C tier, it's, it's like a neutral pick to put in your playlist. We have Chance the Rapper, Kodak Black, uh, Kodak Black one down. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> got Chance the Rapper, Uzi Vert, uh, Logic. Uh, we got, and then we got D tier. This is the people that you're entering the danger zone with when you put them on your playlist. You have uh, Lil Yachty. <laughs> and we young boys. Just, oh, man. We have Kodak in D tier. And then we have the meme tier. You know, you can, you, you're you allowed to have like two songs by them without getting absolutely flamed. But don't listen to them if you think they're actually banging us. Uh, designer 69 and gravy and then you got f tier we got daniel bergoli we got french montana oh lil xan and then we have nick cannon cardi b g easy a little pump otherwise i'm sorry if you're offended by this whole block right here but i would have to listen to more songs to be able to rate them in a solid position to do any ratings in, in this tier now that, that was pretty much the whole play down here so yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe as i've said before only like one percent of my viewers actually subscribe if you look at my warframe video it has like 800 views but only 25 people subscribe but i do appreciate the support on that video with all the likes so yeah thank you for watching oh yeah this is just all my opinion by the way just just letting you know this is opinion don't don't get don't get too bad